And today I'm bringing you a new showcase. Today's project is a little bit larger than I usually would make a video about. But this is a calculator you are looking at. And now you think, oh Matt, wait a second, you're not the first guy on YouTube making a calculator. And that's right, I'm not the first guy making this. Uh, far from the first guy. But I thought that I would make something with the calculator that is completely new and I've never seen on YouTube before. And therefore I came up with this, a touchpad. I've never seen someone uh, on YouTube made a touchpad combined with a calculator. So I thought, hey, you have to do this man. And I did so. And it is, it is uh, quite simple to use. Uh, jump on the numbers to get them on the board and when you're uh, typed in your numbers uh, on the first line then you can push the down button to uh, type the numbers in the second line and if you want to edit the number on the first line then you can type the uh, up button and then you can edit this line and you can edit the lines as many times as you want and the result here is live updating so let's try this uh, but if you download this uh, there will be a download in the description oh it thought I was unpeaceful now I now I am good so if you download this you will notice that the touchpad is turned off by default switch the lever and you will turn it on that's because uh, these lines are updating once a tick and that creates a huge laggy mess so uh, only the most powerful computers uh, can handle this but I thought that I would implant it anyways as you see uh, the machine typed zero that's because I was below this plate and then it can't detect the player correctly so just stay uh, on the top of the plate just as you know so let's start out with typing number 5 and then in just a moment you will notice that these uh, zeros will scroll to left as you see because I typed in a new number and then the board have to make space for the uh, new number which is number 5 but I will turn it on I mean off I'll turn the touchpad off again because it's a little bit laggy and it, it should go a little bit faster up here it, 
takes a little bit longer to turn off the touchpad because of the lag uh, it creates. And it turned off. Alrighty then. So it just uh, typed in the zero I first typed here and now it's updating for the number 5 uh, I typed in here so as you see number 5 I made a little button panel right here in case of uh, your computer can't handle this uh, touchpad um, so it's just for safety and I will use it as well so let's type in number 3 see it's updating for number three and let's type in number eight and number number four and I think we should take a number zero as well and that should be our number on the first line And here we go, our number. So, fi 53,840. And let's um, add it with a number. So let's move the cursor down. And this, uh, this marker here and here uh, indicates where you're editing the number. So in this case, we are editing this number because uh, this is lit up so let's type uh, 90 96 thousand and 200 and 14 Oh, it's laggy, I see. So, right now it's updating, and right now you can't trust the uh, the result because this is updating, and it takes a few seconds uh, for this to update correctly. Uh, and when this is updating all the time, then this here the result can be correct. So and this is our numbers. So before we are looking at the result it should give about let's see hundred hundred and forty nine thousand oh one hundred and fifty thousand and fifty four and that's it people it works perfectly so if you want to clear the board then you can hit the clear button and it will reset the board uh, so it's only zeros and I think we should take a look at the redstone behind it so let's start with the touchpad the touchpad is this part it uses about uh, I can't remember actually 
500 command blocks or something. Yeah, something about that. And then these green lines, the lag lines as I call them. And then the uh, transportation lines. This could be more compact. Um, I tried with uh, some designs, but all of them were more laggy than this one. So it could be compact, but I would uh, think of the lag uh, before uh, compactness. So uh, go on and make it compact, uh, but you will get lots of lag. Uh, I think uh, I tried to compact it in more ways and it ended up with more lag than this uh, this design so I ended up not compacting it uh, in any way and the button panel with uh, some wires to the uh, information lines and a the brown line is update the uh, board up there and these blue and red uh, things are memory so is this one the white thing here and here and there is uh, display bus uh, display buses and the white uh, line here and the blue is just information sent from the display bus to the to the uh, scoreboard not the scoreboard but just the board and the blue lines uh, is also uh, sending information to the display, display bus and the yellow lines is uh, sending information from the memory to the calculator units down here and this calculator is a little bit special because normally you would use uh, binary codes um, to make a calculator but I didn't I used uh, red code um, inspired by cube hamster uh, which made a nice tutorial about uh, red coding uh, which does which uh, does not uh, involve any uh, binary code, um, which is very nice because I ha hate to uh, work with binary codes. So uh, this red code uh, needs a special calculator unit, uh, which also came from Cube Hamster. I made it a little bit different. Uh, in the input and output but the unit itself is from uh, cube hamster and the yeah I think that's it actually uh, yeah and yeah maybe there's the black line here which is for the indicators here and here um, but I think that's it for the redstone. It's nothing special, uh, but the red coat that is a little bit unusual, but otherwise it's just a regular calculator. Um, so I don't have to explain that further. Uh, but if you want to explore this by yourself, then you can click the download link uh, in the description. Um, and if you really liked this video then please hit the like button if you really want to see more of uh, redstone from me then hit the subscribe button otherwise thanks for watching and see you next time <laughs>